Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I have a pretty fun one planned. This idea has been slowly growing over the past few days and weeks. And you guys see him like you really want it. A lot of people have been asking for it in the stream. So I thought I would go ahead and do just that. And as you can see by the towel today, there's no mystery. I'm going to be making a subway from my base right here all the way over to AFK Alley, which is I think around 500 blocks away. It might be longer, might be shorter. There's two main reasons I'm doing this one because my iron golem farm breaks all the time i i don't know why i really never figured out why it broke the second time and why my villagers got killed by the zombies it really just doesn't make any sense to me and so instead of constantly making a new railroad from my house to here breaking it building it and destroying it over and over and over to fix this issue i thought i would just make a subway that basically pops up right here so that like it comes from underground it pops up right here and you can walk and you know get all the farms and whatnot so that's the that's pretty much the main reason this second reason is uh i basically have to use two to three rockets every time i go there and back make a round trip to the farm and while it's not that big of a deal it's still unnecessary also i'm using up my elytra when i could probably just hop in a mine cart chill for about a minute or two and then arrive at my destination so there's a few things i want to do the first one is i like i said i want to pop up like right here i want there to be a staircase coming from out of the ground up to to ground level i want the mine cart to stop underground to basically build like a station one over there my base and one right here this might be expandable in the future i don't know if there's any other big projects i make in the future that are you know a few hundred blocks away from my base i'll probably make sort of a subway system but for now this is the only stop at my afk alley and so i need to go ahead and grab the coordinates to make sure that i line up everything because if it somehow doesn't line up i'm gonna be in for a rough time also with this subway system i might be able to create sort of an item transport system from my afk alley to my base because there's a lot of items that are produced at all my various farms and as i expand i'm just gonna be getting more items it would be really nice if i was able to have at least some sort of transport system what i really don't know yet i don't even know if that's a possibility and so this floor in my base is pretty useless i don't really do much smelting anymore i haven't gone mining in a while that's pretty much the only time i smell anything obviously this wall over here it's useless this wall over here it's useless but considering this i believe is the direction let me go and just double check yeah this is the direction through this magma wall to my my afk farm so i was thinking i could make my sort of subway system stop here in this room break through and uh make it at this ground level just dig a tunnel straight to where i'm going over in my afk alley and i think it like adds more purpose because like i said i really only come down here to smell what is run through here uh to you know my valuables room so i feel like repurposing this or just adding a purpose in general to this would be pretty nice and so it should be pretty easy i'll make it pretty later on i'll have you I always have to figure out like what exactly I'm gonna be doing. Jeez, dude, I am like right over my villagers. So I just I'm hearing a bunch of hmms. So I don't think each subway stop is gonna be necessarily really big. There's really no need to considering all I'm doing is really adding a rail that just goes straight one direction. But there is something I do want to do. I sort of want to have like a supply of minecarts. I don't want to have to carry a minecart on me. I'm thinking about having like some sort of dropper in the wall that I press a button to get my minecart. Once I'm there, I put a minecart back into basically that dropper. So I don't really think I need too big of a room considering all I need is just a place to get my minecarts and a place to put my minecart down to the track and like go. And so looking at the screenshot, oh wait, I can actually do a straight shot of this this is actually crazy. i'm not even trolling i'm actually gonna block off this side because the place where i need to line up for it to be directly centered is 7140 on the x-axis which is right here this block right here straight 800 blocks away that's how far away this is 800 blocks away is my afk alley so i feel like it'd be actually much cooler if i just had a straight shot and then have like too big of a room and so i want to make this at least a little bit interesting and so this is like a super, super, super simple little machine. Let me go ahead and make a button right here. So basically, to get my minecarts, I'm going to have uh, this fully maxed out with minecarts on both ends. And we have this contraption on both ends of the subway so that whenever, let's say, I arrive back, I'm done with my minecart. Instead of carrying a minecart on me at all times, to would be really boring. I'm just going to chuck the minecart back into here so that when I need it again, little stone button, 
Boop, put a dispenser, and then I'll have a minecart in my inventory. It's super simple, but it's a little bit of redstone. And I think it's more fun and interesting to have like a bunch of chests laying around with the minecarts in them. I'm not gonna lie, this looks pretty weird, pretty dumb, but that's sort of the thing. I also really don't wanna make something super complex to dispense minecarts. But yeah, that's basically it. And I'm thinking, I'm either gonna go with a Paula's diorite or a quartz finish. I don't know yet. Subways, I wanna make like a modern subway and whatnot. But honestly, I'm not gonna lie, I don't even wanna worry about that right now because i'm gonna have to mine 800 blocks in this one direction and i don't have haste too i don't know if there's any sort of like haste potion yeah i just did a quick wiki search haste potions are not a thing and i'm not gonna keep placing and breaking beacons to get haste but i just changed my beacon uh from speed to haste so at least while i'm in that radius i'll get like a little bit of boost but boys i, I gotta grind and i'm just gonna i'm just gonna put on a time lapse because i have no clue how long this is gonna take actually perfect i was hoping i'd run through this ravine because anything that i run through like a ravine i'm just gonna build out of glass you know make it look cool same thing as soon as i get to the open water i'm just gonna build out of glass instead of cobble or I, I don't even know what i'm gonna build this out of yet honestly today i think i'm just making this structure i don't think i'm gonna have the time to go back and break every other single block because that'll be an extra probably 45 probably 50 minutes we're just breaking that and then placing all that but we'll see we'll see we'll see all right so my plan is i want to make this like the rest of this all out of glass until I get to that platform right there. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna fly back, bro. I'm doing all this, so I don't have to fly. And then I was like, yeah, I'm just gonna fly back. The good thing is I have an absolute ton of sand. Where'd I get this from? I don't know, I, don't, I honestly don't remember, but I have it, so I'm gonna smelt it. In the meantime, while this is melting, how do you make sponge? I have to probably, I have no clue how to get sponge because I'm not placing all those blocks. I'm not doing that, I just some sponge. How do you get sponge in Minecraft? Find and kill an elder guardian well, I still gotta wait for this to smelt, so I'm gonna try to figure out a design for this room. I might just... I have that glass? Yeah, I think I might just... Oh, I don't have the magma. I think I threw the magma away, but I was gonna probably put like, a piece of glass there, and then magma on top. I don't know, honestly. Never mind. That might look kind of ugly. Whatever. But I'm thinking for this room, like a modern subway, either diorite, polished diorite, or quartz. I just used quartz on there, so I'll probably go with diorite. And I know you guys, you kind of, I don't know why you hate diorite so much, bro. I say it looks like polished bird poop. It kind of does like, look like polished bird poop, but it, just, it looks kind of good sometimes, sometimes. Uh, I don't know if I like the quartz. I'm thinking to keep this for now. I might redesign, redecorate later, so please don't blame me. I'm not a good design guy. Usually you guys in the stream help me out that a ton, but now I have to lay down eight hundred mine cards which i should have because i try to save them every time i do this should be fun i guess so i'm simply thinking about having to come out of this wall take a turn and do something where it's like a few powered rails and then a redstone block powered rail and then boom i might be overkill but i probably get away with doing like 15 rails in between then obviously just have like a bunny like something super basic and like realistically i'm gonna have to replace these because obviously i'm gonna have to redo the entire inside of this but i'm i'm a very practical minecraft person as you guys know i make things work and as long as they work then that's usually good enough for me and i'm not gonna be too particular about how it looks but i know i'm also gonna get absolutely flamed in the comment section if i don't make it look half decent so if you guys want to watch and make this look good make sure to follow my twitch stream it'll be linked down below in the description i'm assuming i'm gonna do this very 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 soon or i actually make this uh subway look presentable and not a really ugly random looking cave and i'm also going to come back and put glowstone on the walls or in the walls i think that'd be like a pretty cool light source yo <laughs> these guys just started fighting each other but i swear skeletons 
We're like the dumbest mob ever, but uh, we're there. That's the water right there, so we're, we're pretty much good. A few more rockets. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the glass, and then um, while we're at it, let's go ahead and probably trade for some glowstone so that this tunnel isn't extremely dark. Bro, this actually is so much longer. Like, it, it's so much longer than you would think it'd be. I think it's melted like, oh my god, I think it's melted like 20 stacks. So I think we're chilling. I think we're chilling regardless. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I I just did the villager stuff as you guys know and iron golems were spawning on like the second layer I guess an iron golem walked into the ender portal or the nether portal and it's just honestly be, it, It's kind of nice. He just smacks anything that even gets close to the portal. So shout out that iron golem Oh my god, bro. I literally just realized they're spawning up here. How? The village is like down. I, I guess they can spawn. I have no clue. As long as it's not spawning in my house, I, I honestly just don't care. But yo, I'm gonna have an iron golem farm on the outside of my house, not even the inside of my house. But I just went to the nether because to get glowstone, as you guys know, boys, we just got a bunch of zombie villager clerics. And so that means we have rotten flesh for days, which means emeralds for days. Let's see. Yep. So instead of trading with just three, now I can trade with literally six zombified cleric villagers, making me just the emerald man. I'm the go-to emerald guy right now. Dude, this guy's prices are 20? Oh my, how, wait, why is this guy so cheap? My dude, dirt cheap over here. Can I, can I get some more? Let's, oh, just kidding. Wait, now this guy's 51? Oh no. It's okay though. Then we're gonna go and plop down a crafting table right here because I have a ton of gold nuggets and clerics, they take gold nuggets as well. Or ingots, my bad. Easy. Oh wait, what? That guy's expensive. Oh no, dude, these guys are still expensive. I did kill a villager and their prices are still kind of screwed. These guys are just juicing me, boys. Thank you. And then there we go. Yeah, I'm just, just gonna trade right back to you, buddy. You're just literally rebuying your emeralds. Thank you. That's expensive, dude. I, I gotta figure out how to get that stuff down, that price down. These boys are scamming me. The thing about spacing these every five apart should be should be good enough for light. Do that on both sides as well. All right, so we're gonna see how this looks making this bad boy glass. I haven't even started all this stuff down there. We'll get to that in just a second, but I just wanna see how this turns out. Maybe it looks good, maybe it looks bad. You know, some ideas that might they're banger ideas and they work out most ideas. You gotta try them out, realize they suck, and then continue on with your day and find out something new that works. Eh, it's interesting. Uh, I'll keep it, but it's, it's, it's interesting. Oh! What, dude? Oh my god, what? Bro, that is by far the dumbest creeper encounter I've ever had. I didn't hear him. I didn't see him until it was too late. Luckily, the rails, you know, stopped there and we didn't lose anything. But, like, imagine I was placing diamond blocks or something actually valuable. I, I could have been screwed. All right, so now we have to build just the most massive glass tunnel I'm ever going to build. took way longer than I was expecting. Um, I had to mine out some stuff, which took longer than I expected. I had to build this staircase, which took longer than I expected. I just didn't realize building and doing stuff underwater would be so hard. But honestly, this area, it looks pretty sick. And especially once all this water is cleared out of the glass tunnel, uh, we're really gonna be chilling. All I have to do is put down the rails, make the same sort of minecart dispenser uh, that I have at my other base here. And then, like I said, all the fancy, parts of this build i'll worry about that later it's it's just not important right now to be honest i honestly don't really care but so many blocks have been broken so many blocks have been placed i feel like an idiot if i had sponges this, this entire thing would be done i i'd be sleeping i'd be in my bed right now bro but alas i don't i'm too scared to get sponges i don't know how to get sponges i think formula has sponges i don't know if he's willing to sell them but yeah i don't he's not on don't want to bother the guy to be honest over some minecraft sponges Alrighty, all I gotta do is block off this massive section of water. It's not even massive compared to what I've already done, but 
do this, put in the glowstone, put in the rails, and then boys, we got the subway done. Even though this is a pain, the thing about Minecraft is honestly the more time you put into something, the better it's gonna turn out. You know, I didn't do all this for nothing. It's for like a glass tunnel that goes through the bottom of the ocean, so it's gonna look sick, and it already does look sick. So you know, the thing about Minecraft, like I said, the more time you put into something, the better it's gonna look, and then you know, the happier gonna be at the end of the day. You know, I could have left this just gone underground some more than come back, but that's a lame, and I'm not a lame -o. If you don't talk to the gamer, not a lame -o. But here we are. Now all I have to do is, like I said, uh, put glowstone in all the way down there to put the rails in, and we're good to go. There you have it. There's the tunnel. 800 blocks long, 3 by 3 all the way through leading for one very epic well not too epic right now but very soon to be epic subway system first trip in the minecart see how this goes boys my cards aren't fast but then again you can just get on your phone for a second if i'm streaming i can talk to my chat or i can get up and go to the bathroom like i'm about to do right now Like it worked. Alrighty, here for the maiden voyage of the DTG subway. Here we go. So I have no minecarts in my inventory. Boom. Minecart. Thank you very much. Put it down. Blam. And we're on our way, boy. We kill it. We cruise it. Oh, I'm looking. I'm looking fresh, boys. I'm looking clean. Yes, sir, boys. Look at me. I'm DTG, dude. Here we are. I'm done with the trip. Break the minecart. And then just give a little accurate bonk. And it goes in. Just like that, boys. I, I think that's it. I've already spent three hours doing this. And like I said, I'm going to have to spend another two to three more. Just breaking all these blocks. Finding what decorations I want. Finding what, you know, cool block I want to use for this or blocks. If you have any suggestions, as always, leave them down below in the comment section and uh, hopefully we get the iron golem farm fixed it should literally just be as simple as yoinking some villagers which i think are right below me up here boom all the way and and we should be chilling it should be a lot easier this way than uh, what i had going on so as always once again thank you so much for watching today's video boys i greatly appreciate all the support still on the craft night and just the other content i've been uploading on the channel it really does mean a lot but with all that being said spend your boy Ducky the Subway Builder, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.